Maybe you've heard a little bit about the Azure SQL Database free offer, but maybe you haven't. Maybe you didn't know how awesome it was. Maybe you didn't know how many things you can do with it. Learn all about it this week on Data Exposed. Hi, I'm Anna Hoffman, and welcome to this episode of Data Exposed. Today, I'm joined by Amar, a PM from the SQL team. Amar, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Anna. Thank you for having me on the show. It's great to have you on the show. Today, we're going to be talking about the Azure SQL Database free tier. Maybe people have seen this before. Maybe yeah. people haven't. So tell us all about it. Yeah, thanks, Anna. Uh, well, this free offer has been in public preview for a few months now. So I'm here to talk about uh, you know, giving you all a quick refresher of what this free offer is all about, how it's different from the old offer. But really, we're going to talk about how it integrates with some of the most powerful tools in Azure, like Power Apps, uh, Power BI, Azure Data Studio. And uh, we're going to look at some really cool AI applications after that. Awesome. Cool. Yeah, let's get right into it. Yeah. Let's get right into it. So the old offer was pretty restrictive in what it had, right? It had a limited effectivity of 12 months, uh, restricted performance, and uh, you had to have an Azure free account subscription. The new offer, though, is completely unrestricted in that regard. It works on the latest serverless tech. You don't need an Azure free account subscription for it. So there you have it. You, have, uh, you get one free database per subscription for the lifetime of the subscription, and you get this free quantity of uh, 100,000 vCore seconds of compute. Every month? Every month. Wow. 32 nice. gigabytes of data storage, 32 gigabytes of backup storage, and then uh, it works on this cool serverless tech. So if you're not using it, it saves up all of your compute. It goes into autopause. So uh, you know anyone who wants to use it can go right into aka.ms slash SQL free offer and sign up. And we're going to look at how uh, the discoverability for that is uh, through a quick demo of, of where uh, you can click and get access to this fully featured Azure free SQL database. So here. Um, with just a few clicks, I, I get the option uh, to you know, get into this free database offer. And it'll, uh, it'll give me the ability to get 100,000 vCore seconds and 32 gigabytes of storage every single month. And then as soon as I find the, the sign up for this free offer, it will then uh, take me directly to the, the sign up portal. Uh, on the sign-up portal, we've created a very, very easy way for you to navigate and apply this offer in a very seamless way. There on the top, you'll find the ability to apply the free offer. As soon as I apply it, um, it'll give uh, on the cost summary page, I'll, I'll see how many vCore seconds I get. It should be 100,000 vCore seconds and 32 gigabytes of storage. Uh, I will have the ability to remove the offer as well. And then uh, every single month, this keeps uh, refreshing. But then during the month, if you want to know how many vCore seconds you've consumed, you should be able to do that to know how many vCore seconds you have in the month. Um, there you have it fully packed. You can go to aka.ms slash sqlfreedb to, to, uh, to get this free offer. Uh, but what we are really uh, you know, here to talk about is you know, it's been in the public preview for a few months, and customers have really seen very cool applications with it. I'm going to uh, talk through some of these applications. And uh, before we get into that, uh, I also want to talk about the awesome flexibility this free offer has. So let's say uh, my, my free offer is getting over. Or uh, you know, when I start the free offer, I feel the need to upgrade to the fully lit up SQL feature base. Um, I will have the ability to do that in a very seamless way. I just have to flip a to toggle. And I will be able to get over bill over usage which should allow me the ability to scale all the way up to ATV cores and four terabytes of storage. Nice. So like if my app or whatever really picks up, like no problem. I just switch it over, and now I can scale up, right? Absolutely, Anna. Awesome. How cool is that, right? Cool. Yeah. So then uh, what do you need to do to sort of integrate it with these really powerful tools you have in Azure, right? And we're going to talk through uh, at least three of those tools. And then later, we're going to get into this awesome AI application as well. So we're going to start with uh, you know, a scenario that we're going to build over these uh, three, three different tools. But first, uh, we'll have to look at what security changes you need to do to sort of allow these different Azure services access into your database. OK. Yeah. So all you have to do is you know, get into this uh, networking sort of uh, page and uh, click this uh, option to allow other services uh, and resources to access uh, the database. And once you do that, th there you have it. You, you, all the Azure services should seamlessly be able to connect to your database and use all of the data and the awesome and cool things uh, that you want to do with your database. Um, 
Let's start with uh, the Azure Data Studio because that's one of my favorite ones. Uh, what I'm going to do is um, try to show you how to build a scenario for, an, um, for, an, uh, uh, for a cycle shop. And I want to see how I can um, you know, add a new product line to the cycle shop in terms of a SKU that I want to sell. And I'm going to see how I can add different SKUs with this key. Okay. Uh, what I do is uh, you know, uh, load the template for uh, the sample database and the tables. And I have all of the other uh, products preloaded, but I'm going to add a key size. So here I've connected to my Azure Data Studio. It's a very rich authoring environment, so it's going to be really, really awesome and powerful to see how this sort of connects with Azure Data Studio. Um, now I'm going to be able to see how um, I, I'm going to write queries to, to sort of be able to write this uh, new key that I'm adding to uh, my, my cycle shop. Uh, now if I'm Rusty in SQL, um, I'm not aware of how you know, all of these queries work. Uh, I have this really cool feature in Copilot GitHub that gives me all of these options, and I don't have to think too much about if I'm writing the right SQL code or not. And uh, here, uh, it has a free version, so I've enabled that. And you can see that as soon as I enable it, I just give it a hint to add the key length. This is the new product we are adding in the cycle shop. And there, it, you know, it works fantastically well. You can give it any sort of hint, and you know, there's some interesting options that pop up. <laughs> I've uh, added the key length here, and then I'm going to refresh my uh, my columns for my sample uh, table, and there I see at the bottom the key length gets added. So there, like with Azure Data Studio, I can add any any sort of structure uh, with this uh, free database. But then, what's really powerful is I can build the scenario over a period of time. And let's say now. In my cycle shop, Anna, I want to add uh, you know the option of inventory management. Okay. Uh, I've added this key as a new product, uh -huh. but what I want to do is like go across in my warehouse and or like understand how my inventory is wearing with time, right? Mm -hmm. So I want to build an application on top of it, uh, and Azure gives me the ability of you know hooking up this free database with uh, you know Power Apps. And uh, once uh, I'm I'm on my portal, uh, I'll see the option right there to connect to Power Apps as well. So I'm going um, to see that option, select it, and try to connect to it. Um, once I've connected to Power Apps, uh, it also gives me the option to do a number of things uh, in the ways I want to customize my app. And I can do all of that using the scenario that I'm trying to sort of walk through. Nice. I didn't realize you could do it right from in the portal. You can just connect to Power Apps. Yeah, how cool is that? I mean, everything is right over there, right? You can get all of the richness of all of these different options on the portal, and then you can use your free database right there. So it's a pretty awesome experience where uh, you're getting the ability to build this app. And here, um, I've, I've hooked it up with a free database, and I'm trying to add um, you know, this new product line that I added of selling skis and the SKU length into this uh, application. So you'll see it gives me a few different options. This is a sample sort of application that exists in Power Apps. You can build so many other things uh, through this. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and add that new column in there. And it'll give me three options. I can edit it. I can browse it. I can go through all of the details. So I can customize the way this sort of uh, shows nice. up for our customers. Yeah. So uh, I see I've, I've edited, I've added that column. And uh, you know I'm able to add all the sorts of inventory uh, calculations onto this app. And, there, uh, you know, I have uh, Azure Data Studio build me, you know, what I want to add to my business, uh, a new product line. I've got an app built on top of it, which is inventory management, so it's great. But now, let's say, uh, you know, I'm a small business. Uh, I want to really understand, or perhaps any other uh, customer, right, or a user. I want to understand how do I visualize, you know, everything that I've added through Power Apps or Data Studio. There, uh, there's an option to connect to Power BI to build these really powerful visualizations as well. So what I'm doing is, again, the option is right there in the portal. Nice. You said, very convenient for users. Um, you connect it to Power BI, and there, uh, the option is right there, like Power Apps. I try to connect it to my free database. Uh, takes some time, it's thinking about it, and it connected. And then, uh, once it's connected, I can build any powerful visualization of how my inventory is looking up. So remember, we added the, the, the SKU length for this new SKU. Um, uh, when we added this uh, new SKU into it, uh, I am now trying to understand how the inventory is varying over a period of time, and pretty much build my visualization to understand all of the historical analytics that my business is sort of you know, trying to fare through and understand how my business is doing. So 
there uh, i'm building a simple table using this power bi but you can pretty much build really cool visualizations doing it you can build a, you know a pie chart or a bar graph and understand how your inventory or your business is doing over a period of time for my cycle and all this with the free tier can you can you imagine how how cool is that like people get to do it for free and a uh, very very uh, you know uh, uh, awesome option for customers to kind of just use the power of everything power bi power apps and the free database uh but this is the one i'm really excited about okay. uh using this free offer for ai and uh, i'm going to walk through a really cool uh, sort of totally different scenario so let's say uh, anna you and i are in london we want to find the best place to get focaccia bread um and i don't know how to do that cuz there's so many options out there right yeah. and there's so many uh, places so now i'm going through the internet i'm going to uh, you know search through every option for like focaccia <laughs> bread uh trying to see which business gives me the best option right So I go through and do that, and I see there are two hundred thousand businesses and eight million reviews to go through to get the best bread. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, and so <laughs> I'm getting all of this uh, through my front end option that is connected to my app payload, and it's loading, and I'm finding the the way to connect all of this data into my free database. It has all of the addresses for my businesses as well, and it has this custom JSON native type. uh which is connected to the app payload that sort of gets all of this data into my free database and now um i'm also trying to understand what i can do with like you know getting to the precise search so you know the awesome earnest uh, of uh, azure sql database anna you can have all of these predicates which means you can filter the data on top of which you can build your ai based like uh, similarity search so let's say now we are in london but there's so many options that we saw out there right but you and i we really care about only the the options that are like greater than that have the highest reviews right. that are greater than 4 stars um now since we are in london i also want to make sure that i'm not actually traveling too far uh, so right. i put a geospatial search on it which is the geolocation i restrict it to like 5 kilometers of search um but you know even if i limit it there are so many other places out there so i see that i have to add a category based search this is something new this is a regular expression that i'm adding as well mm. i put italian and pizza and now i am still getting some results but i'm not quite getting the the precise result i want to get to the right sort of uh, focaccia bread right the best out there so here uh, what we have is this is the right review we see that gets us to that location and uh, you see that the 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 user has basically just you know uh, the customer has just explained uh, you know why they think it's the best focaccia bread in town <laughs> and it exists with the uh, the location id 307305 Uh, so i'm going to try and see how we can get this through the ai so uh i i try to i try to use this uh, uh this review to build on to the pre existing filters that i had but i'm going to add like uh, the ai version of this so uh, on top of this so what i'm going to do is uh, connect it to the rest point uh, stored procedure and that gets me to azure open ai i'm going to get the embedding for uh, the the text based data and then um, and what i'm going to do is build a vector distance on top of my pre-existing sort of filters and what that does is once i've uh, i've got my my regular search i've got my location based search i've got my geospatial search i've got my regular expression wow. on top of it i've got a vector distance search so i'm able to you know can you imagine with all of those reviews that we saw uh, initially we are going to get to the exact focaccia <laughs> bread that we've been it. craving for uh, you know to get the best uh, focaccia bread in london So as soon as I add these filters um you'd be able to see that uh, uh we we run it we run all of this uh, and you know what you see Anna if you see the text you uh, you know the the customers are not like very precise in their spellings when you're writing a review right they have very less time so you see the, the okay sure bread <laughs> spelling is like misspelled there but it's then it's hard to spell yeah yeah so uh when i add all of these searches like and and i use ai on top of it i still get to the right uh, search result So here I'm going to execute all of these statements that that I see and then uh, there uh, once I execute it I get to 307305 on top of this list which is the exact result that we were looking for right when we looked for the for the search. So you know it's really cool to see how uh, when when I'm looking for a particular you know search result how with the existing options I have with the Azure uh, you know database when using the free database here as well how i can build ai on top of it to get to something really really cutting edge and powerful to get me to 
you know, the precise result uh, when I'm using the free database. Isn't that cool, Anna? Amazing. It's so cool, Amari. You just showed me so many things that you can do with yeah. Azure SQL Database, but also with the free tier, which is awesome. Um, yeah, so yeah. thanks so much. I learned a lot about the free tier, but I also learned a lot about Azure SQL Database in general. Yeah. Um, to our viewers, if you like this episode, go check out the free offer, aka.ms slash SQL free offer. We'll put a link in the description for you to go learn more. Uh, maybe some links to some of the other things that you saw in the, the video. Uh, again, thanks so much, Amar. If you like this episode, go ahead and give it a like. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you're going to do with the free offer. And we hope to see you next time on Data Exposed. <music>